I kind of feel like this shirt sums up 2016 pretty perfectly. Hey there y'all, Ty here. Today's Tuesday, so you know what that means. That means today's another episode of Let's Talk Tuesdays. My special guest of the week this week is going to be my champagne because we are ringing in a new year. So cheers to that. Please don't fall. I just, this setup's not the best. Before we actually get started with this video though, can we take a moment to like appreciate these socks? So as most of you know, and if you don't, what rock have you been living under? But 2016 is over. It is done, it is dead, it is in the past. I am so happy that 2017 is here. I can't even explain it. Like I just, I'm at a loss for words for how just excited I am for this year. But yes, 2016 is over and I just, I think we owe Kylie Jenner an apology. Is that just me? Like 2016 literally was the year of realizing things and we made fun of her for that but she was right she was so right now 2016 for me was just it was a year man I mean I feel like I went through so many highs and so many lows and a lot of those I broadcasted out into my YouTube channel and my social media and I feel like 2016 was really a year where I got closer to you guys and to my self really to be quite honest 2016 was a year for a lot of firsts for me and so since I figured that 2016 is over with and 2017 is here I would for once actually sit down and make like a list of resolutions slash goals that I would like to see get accomplished this year I sat down and I typed like a few things out on my phone and I thought that I would share those with you guys but also I kind of wanted to put this out there so that way it's something that I can look back on like reflect on or whatever you know so obviously like the first thing that I want to like do and get accomplished here in 2017 is I just want to be happy like I spent a lot of last year being unhappy within my life my relationship myself my job everything and I didn't really give myself enough time to be happy so I put that like number one on my list this year the second one which is gonna be I guess a little surprising not really for some people but my second resolution slash goal is to get a car and a license like I'm 23 and I don't have either of these things long story but this year is definitely going to be the year that I get that accomplished my third goal which kind of goes hand in hand with the second goal is to get a dog and I am so excited because Chris and I have already like talked about it and we've already like come to the conclusion that once I actually do get my license in my car that we will get a dog so I am so excited for that my fourth goal is going to be try to focus on my YouTube channel a little bit more I really let it slip in 2016 and actually towards the end of 2015 and I really want to dive back into my channel and get back into Let's Talk Tuesdays and maybe even add some more series here on my channel like featuring other people but I really just want to focus on my YouTube channel because it's definitely something that I love doing and it brings me happiness and joy. Next resolution is just to travel more and the next two kind of go hand in hand and that is to learn ASL and to learn Braille. I really just want to start educating myself a little bit more on different things. ASL is always a language that I've always wanted to learn. If I could learn any other language in the whole entire world it would be ASL. The next goal plus resolution that I have is to write more. A lot of people don't know but I love writing especially like poetry and so that's something that I really want to delve more into because I've let that slip in the past and along with writing more I want to read more. I love reading. I've always loved reading and I just feel like I don't do it enough and so that's definitely another goal slash resolution that I have going into this year. I would at least like to read one or two books a month. We'll see how that goes but that is my goal as of now. My next one which is probably one of the bigger ones that I have on this list is going to be to treat my body better. Now I'm not in like horrible health or horrible shape whatsoever and I didn't really want to put like work out or go to the gym because those resolutions never work out people never stick to those so I didn't want to put that so I put to treat my body better because I honestly could drink more water or tea I could go to the gym more often I could eat less fast food the next one is also one of the bigger ones on my list and that is to move I am so ready to get out of this apartment I've been in this apartment for about four years now and I am so ready to leave this place it's not a bad apartment but I'm just ready to go my lease is up in like June or July so when that time comes I am gone I am done where am I gonna go I don't know but I am definitely making it a goal to get out of this place the last resolution slash goal that I have on my list is going to be to advance in my career a lot of you know that I work retail I actually work retail management and it's something that I am so passionate and I love doing whether that's going to be the career for the rest of my life or not I don't know I would love to go back to school and become a kindergarten teacher but as of now retail is definitely my career and that is definitely something that I, I want to work harder and do more in and advance this year because I have all the potential and all of the resources to do so I just need to really like hunker down and do it and so I'm so excited so those are really all the resolutions slash goals I have for myself this year now as the years go on I'll probably like add a few more here or there or try to accomplish a few different things but that's really all that I have for 2017 and I just I really feel like 2017 is gonna be such a good year 2016 wasn't shit it really wasn't but 2017 is going to be amazing and I cannot wait and I can't wait to 
bring you guys along on the journey with me. That's really it that I have for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys liked this video and enjoyed it and you're happy to see a Let's Talk Tuesdays again, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below if you have any resolutions for 2017. What's next on my list of things to do for my outro? If you would like to follow me on any of my social media to keep up with me or just to say hi, as always, the links will be in the description below. And until next time, stay rad. Bye.